We all know that Starbucks has practically taken over the world, everybody and their mama loves them some Starbucks, and I have some hacks in this video that may help you the next time that you go place your next order. So I did go to Starbucks, of course, for this video. I have slightly an addiction to their tea, and I try my best not to go to Starbucks every single day because it does add up in price. So it is more convenient to just go grab a cup of Starbucks instead of having to make it at home. It's kind of like a nice luxury to have. So my first hack for you dolls is when you're ordering an iced tea, skip the water. If you guys don't know, which I learned recently, when you order like an iced passion tea, which is what I always get unsweetened, they'll mix the concentrate with water. So if you like strong tea like myself, then this is definitely a way to order your tea. Plus you get more bang for your buck. It's not all watered down. It's just more flavorful and it tastes a million times better. So ask for your iced teas without water. There's no extra charge or anything. Hack number two basically goes along with hack number one. When you get an iced drink, ask for light ice. Unless you're the type of person that really likes super cold drinks, this is definitely a hack that I recommend, especially when you're getting an iced tea. Like there's nothing worse than having a full cup of ice and then like no actual tea. It's kind of a waste of money. You're spending more money on ice than you are the actual drink. So it's really nice to ask for light ice, not only for iced teas, but for iced coffees as well. I personally don't find it makes a difference in my iced coffees temperature wise. Hack number three is super exciting. Just because it's not on the menu doesn't mean the drink doesn't exist. So for me today, this is exactly what I ordered. I got a snickerdoodle latte that is like a secret menu item basically this is a tall almond milk latte with one pump vanilla syrup and then one pump cinnamon dulce so together it's like the snickerdoodle flavor i did go and ask strictly for a snickerdoodle latte and they looked at me like i was crazy and didn't know what i was talking about but that is the breakdown of the recipe if you guys want to try it i haven't tried it yet and it actually is quite lukewarm now because i just got home and I wanted to save it for the video. But it smells like Christmas, that's all I can tell you thus far, so cheers. Oh man, I feel like Drake right now. Mm-hmm. So I really like this combination. I definitely recommend switching up your everyday coffee order just so it's not boring. There's so many different combinations that you can create at Starbucks and I think that's why so many people love it so much is you can really customize your drink down from it being hot or cold. You can get different types of plant-based milks. If you're not into drinking dairy, you can switch up and mix up the syrups and get different sweeteners. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. I feel like you're either a hot drinker or an iced drinker. You know what I mean? Like I rarely get a hot drink. But if you're the type of person that likes to drink your hot drinks immediately after you get it from the barista, I would recommend asking for a kid temperature. I've done some research on this and kid temperature is still hot, but not to the point where you're gonna burn your tongue the second that you take a sip. All you have to do is just ask for a kid temperature and that will solve your issues if you're impatient like me and you just don't wanna wait 15 minutes for your drink to cool down until it's drinkable. The next hack is for all of my OCD clean folks out there. I will admit, I definitely am a coaster freak. So if you're ever in a pinch, let's say you don't have any coasters laying around, I have seen that you can take off the lids on these ice drinks, turn them upside down. I'm not gonna do it right now because there's some tea dripping and you can set it on the bottom of your cup and it will act as a coaster to collect any of this like drippings. I mean, they have a perspiration, I guess that's the word, and it won't leave a watermark on your table. I wouldn't necessarily recommend that because then you don't have a lid on your actual tea. But if you have no other resources and you're just freaking out about not having a coaster nearby to set your ice drink down on, that is a simple way to fix that concern. My next hack is for those of you that want to cheat the system. This is taking like a grande drink and ordering it in the next size up or getting a tall and ordering your drink in a grande. That way you have more room for milk, you have more room for the ice, and you're actually getting your full use of your ounces of your latte, if that kind of makes sense. I feel like that's kind of going overboard. I wouldn't necessarily do that every single time because I feel like that's kind of complicating the order. But if you are that person that really wants to get the most for your money, then that would be something that I would recommend or suggest that you guys try out the next time that you go to Starbucks. This next hack has saved my life so much and it saved me in many ways. First of all, I don't ever drink 
a complete like venti iced latte. I just find myself having leftover wasted because it kind of tastes a little bit more watery the longer that I have it sitting around. But also I save myself so much money. I went into a Starbucks and I was curious to know how many shots of espresso do they put in a grande versus a venti. And they told me it was the same. It was like two shots. You're getting the same amount of espresso in a grande and a venti. You're just paying extra for more milk and ice essentially. So why am I going to pay more for milk when I really want the caffeine? The next hack has to be divided in half. I don't know why I'm calling these different things, but if you think about it, there are so many calories alone in the sugars and the syrups and the sweeteners that they're putting in these. Some drinks, like in iced venties, I think there could be up to six to eight pumps of a sweetener, which is a lot. So I always say half the amount. That way it's not overly sweet and it doesn't taste like a dessert. It's still enjoyable. I don't even know what number I'm on right now, but if there's a long line in your Starbucks or they're just really slow, like at my Starbucks, they take forever to make a drink. I remember I was standing in line once for 20 minutes at the end of the bar waiting for my drink to come out and then they got it wrong. So it's kind of annoying, but if you are impatient like me or you're in a pinch for time, you can use the Starbucks app Hashtag not sponsored. And what you can do is just place your order and then you can pay for it already through the app and then pick it up at the end of the bar. You can also do this while you're in the store. If you walk in and it's a long line, you can just boop, 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 order your drink, pay for it in the app, and then skip ahead of everyone and then pick it up. So that's another amazing hack that I think most people don't necessarily utilize. I think that just about wraps up my Starbucks hacks for you dolls. I hope that you guys found this video helpful. Maybe you learned something new, maybe you didn't. I'm just trying to find the best drink out there, so it would be great to have some recommendations. If you guys found this video helpful, please hit that like button and hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video very soon.